Tonight, your reporter is giving you a look at a nationwide issue that is hitting our state hard, crime and retail theft. In Aurora, one shopping center is losing $1.6 million a year. Yeah, already this month, a grocery store closed its doors for good in an underserved part of the city. Now, some are worried that a nearby drugstore could be next. Your reporter in Aurora, Tori Mason, visited that intersection today. The Walmart at Colfax in Havana has shut its doors. Now the company says they never close a store for one single reason, but neighbors around here believe it's due to area crime. Now they're worried another critical store nearby will close for the same reason. Opera tells a story through music, but at Colfax in Havana, the music's to keep bad actors away. They have all the major drug heads at this area. Heath sees it every day. With Walmart closed, he does his shopping at the Walgreens nearby. You know, I buy my toothpaste, you know, I buy my Pepsi, I buy my food from here. Lately, there's less to choose from, a lot less. Many aisles that aren't completely empty are locked behind glass. An employee says it's due to theft. They come in and steal some of the homeless people from our TV stop right there. The bus stop out front has become a hub for people looking for more than a ride. It's an open air drug and prostitution market. Steve Sundberg is vice chair of the Public Safety Committee. The bus shelters, I think those need to be redesigned. I've even spoke with RTD security. They suggest that. As for Walgreens, they told CBS Colorado they're not closing and that they're aware of the issues and that they are working to maintain product availability for customers at this location. Many neighbors here walk, and the next closest pharmacy is over a mile away. The unintended consequences that innocent residents are going to feel from not having a, a affordably priced grocery store or possibly more stores closing, and uh, it's, it's looming. The mayor's connected with corporate and mom and pop shops. Neighbors hope they won't succumb to this fuss on the facts. I'm a little discouraged, but I got I got to think positive about my neighborhood. I'm told that APD is working on an initiative to reduce crime in this area. I've also learned that there's a community meeting next month for people who may have concerns about the bus stop at East Colfax and Havana. Reporting in Aurora, I'm Tori Mason covering Colorado First. Well, Tori, hopefully they can address all those problems. Thank you.